Hey guys, welcome to the Angles Practice Problems Level Hard. All right, let's do it. Okay, let's take a look here. We got a diagram again, and we've got sort of these two triangles on top of each other, and X, okay, not much information. Let's read the question. In the figure above, what is the sum in terms of X of the degree of the degree measures of the four angles marked with arrows. So that's here, 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 and here. Okay, so we wanna know what all these angles add up to in terms of X. All right, so this is a tricky question. There's not a lot of information. So I always like to start a question like this with the things that we know. So what do we know? Well, first of all, we've got these, this angle X, and what do we have opposite here? Do we know this angle? Well, actually we do because it is a vertical angle to X. A vertical angle, remember, is just when you have two lines that intersect and it's sort of like the opposite angles. So by that rule, this angle over here is the same. It's also X. Okay, so now we know that. How can we get the, any angles in here? That's the question. So we've got these two angles at X. Now we wanna know something about what's going on inside of these triangles. Well, first things first, we know that if you go all the way around, right? So if you go X, X, if you take those angles and these two angles in here, those all have to add up to 360, right? Anytime you go sort of all the way around like that, you're getting 360 degrees. So what does that mean? That means that these two angles, this one and this one, they must basically, if you combine them, let, let, let's put a variable in for a second. Let's say they're Y, okay? We're just gonna call them Y for the time being. So if you add Y plus Y plus X plus X, they're all gonna equal 360. So now let's simplify it more. We got two Y plus two X equals 360. Okay, now we wanna remember, we wanna get this in terms of X. That Y doesn't do us any good. So we, so we're calling these angles Y. Let's see if we can represent them in terms of X. So we simply isolate Y, get rid of the two X. And now we have two Y equals 360 minus two X. Okay, so now we got two Y. That means two Y is basically uh, both of these angles. We've got this angle and this angle. Do we need to simplify this any further? No, we don't. Here's why. What you basically want is you want to find these four angles, right? Now, here's the, here's the cool part. When you have a triangle, all the angles add up to 180 degrees. So that's the case for both of this triangle and this triangle. Both those triangles, their angles add up to 180 degrees. Now, all we need to do after that is subtract these two y's, right? So basically we just take 360, right? 180 plus 180 minus 2y. And then all we have to do is plug in this value here for 2y. So let me write that out, it seems a little complicated. So remember, we're just taking 180, right? All the angles in one triangle, all the degrees, excuse me, plus 180, all the degrees in the other, minus that 2y, which we're gonna call 360 minus 2x. Okay, now let's continue to simplify this out. This becomes 360 minus 360. Remember, we gotta distribute that negative sign, so it becomes plus 2x. And now look, you have 360 and 360 minus, you know, cancel each other out, that becomes zero. And so we're left with simply 2x. So 2x is our final answer. That is B and done.